McDonald's. It is a quick service restaurant chain that redefined the concept of fast food in India. After brands like Merilas and Wimpies. After 15 years of coming into the country, McDonald's India now has 250 restaurants across the entire region. The company plans to double the number in the next three years and each outlet will cost 3 to 3.5 crores of rupees. The North and East India region for the company is managed by Vikram Bakshi in India. In an interaction with VC Circle, he discusses the private equity interest in the QSR segment, newer business models recommended for food entrepreneurs, and the path ahead for McDonald's. We have with us Mr. Vikram Bakshi, the man behind the most successful QSR chain in India, McDonald's. Uh, so sir, uh, you know, I heard you speaking about how QSR is a, a very hot sector for investment. And you were talking about how P is a better uh, model for entrepreneurs in the QSR segment. Why, why do you feel that? So you've got to understand that uh, any food business requires a few years of, uh, of working at it before you get success. There's bound to be a lot of cash burn in the initial years. Uh, whenever you raise debt, you still have to pay your installments on a quarterly basis. And in most times in the first few years, you never have enough cash to cover up your operating costs for so you being able to pay uh, interest on your borrowing uh, debt. So uh, always for any new idea, and if there's a possibility of your attracting a private equity player or an angel investor, whoever it could be, uh, then it's, it's, it's much better because remember, uh, you have a certain number of years to prove, your, uh, prove the concept. And during that period, all the cash money you accounted for that has already come in with you so that you can go fearlessly in trying to pursue the idea and not try and compromise it. Okay, and so what kind of models do you think can gain traction from investors in the QSR segment? Because to an extent we see, you know, chains like you, KFC, already have tapped the fast food market. So, you know, what, what difference can new entrepreneurs bring to this segment? See, I think there are loads and loads of entrepreneurs, very successful entrepreneurs who have actually got the proof of concept already. Uh, they are not able to scale their idea at the moment simply because either they are shy of making uh, revenue or they don't understand how to scale. Uh, I believe there are very good, successful niche models that exist. A lot of it exists in the, on the Indian uh, USA services. And good ideas can be taken care of. They are available in niche uh, you know, food and beverages uh, business. They are also available on more health and wellness uh, end of the business, uh, especially in the food and beverages side. So clearly, uh, there are uh, loads of them out there. I think it's, it's a question of both the investing uh, community, looking at them more seriously, and also at the same time, the entrepreneurs themselves trying to understand like, what, how private equity or equity actually helps. Okay. Uh, and also, sir, please take us you know, uh, through the McDonald's expansion plans. I mean, I'm sure everyone wants to know about it. What, what is the plan that you have drawn for the next financial year to expand? So I think um, you do understand that uh, McDonald's is kind of split in the country in two halves. Mm -hmm. I look after the first half and there's the second half, which is which is more west and south. But either way, I think both of us developed uh, an idea that uh, whatever we've done in the first 15 years, uh, we proof of the concept, many innovation, getting the model right, uh, we are probably best uh, positioned to be expanding from here. So the aim is to try and double the number of restaurants uh, in the next three years. So that means whatever we did in the last 15 years, we now do So how much money is going to Oh, there's, there's a very large sum of money. For one outlet, does it? Every outlet costs close to about two and a half, three crores. Yes. So it's just not the outlet. It's also the investment that goes in the back end. Uh, and a larger part of the investment does go in the back end. It's the food processing plants, the entire logistics bit of it. So, you know, all that has to be upgraded if you really want to bring those numbers together. Will, will FDI change things for big brands like McDonald's as well? I believe that FDI will change things not only for big brands, uh, but will also change things for smaller retailers. And my belief comes more from the fact that the investments that need to be made on the back end has to be shared 
in effect for people to get returns on. So anybody who's going to make investments in, in, in the back end, he make sure that he has enough retailers on board who are going to help him cover those costs. So that means a smaller uh, retailer on the food and beverage side could become party to uh, a large retailer who's already set up the back end and take over something from it. So what am I, it, it helps him recover the cost and it helps a smaller retailer, uh, you know, cut down on his cost and get a better product. So will there be changes in the format of his stores? Like uh, outlets, will we see any change in the coming time? Well, I think if you see, we've already gone into it. Okay. Uh, India being a very young country, uh, as you see the demographics, people between 24 to 26 years of age. Uh, all our new restaurants that are coming up are contemporary. Uh, there are restaurants which are updated on the basis of customers' aspirations today. So is it uh, lighting, which is there? Is it seating, which is there? It is a segregation between two seaters, four seaters, six seaters, community seating. All that has been done clearly looking at the needs of the customers. So it's becoming more more happening, more happening for the present customers. Yes. In terms of space and in terms of the ambient space. Absolutely. So we we have oh yes, absolutely. The, the cost has gone up by fifty percent. Okay. So we will need the power from the past. In the past one, one and a half years since we started coming up with the new... Okay. Uh, the new this, this two and a half crores is after 50%? No, two and a half crores was earlier, so you can now look at it between three and a half crores. Okay, okay. And then upcoming outlets will also have this. They will all have the same image. Okay, sir. Okay, so, and one last question which everybody wants to know. When is McCafe coming? 2012 was the time. You know, like we heard on the podcast. So when can we expect? It's it's on the end. Uh, I can't put a date to it because it also means getting the right all the products that we serve in a make cafe together. Mm -hmm. the work is already happening, so I, I'm sure you will see a make cafe in India. Thanks. Thanks.